Hey guys, Ostrich Vox here, and hopefully this is my last video on this. I'm doing this all in one take. I'm going off an adrenaline rush. So when Stephen Bomb 5 got released, people noticed he was up Monday night. People were like, oh, was this a mistake? And I made a video explaining, no, Cartoon Network does this with all their shows. It draws attention to the app, it draws attention to the shows, etc. And how Stephen Bomb was harmed by this and that it's not a league. All, above all else, it wasn't a league. Then the Cooniverse, well, Matt Burnett said it was released by mistake. So I'm like, how does that happen? Like, I, I literally made like a 10 minute video explaining that it wasn't a mistake, it was on purpose. But that did not be in case and the episodes got taken down. But now we have official confirmation that my original theory was right, that this was 100% intentional for the exact same reasons I gave in my video. A lot of people were like, well, Vox, not all of your reasons made sense. Or, oh, I don't really think that adds up. But no, like, that, those were legitimately the reasons. So I have this article right here. Polygon talked to Cartoon Network and he got an official statement from them. And I'm going to read it right now. A new set of Steven Universe episodes were set to premiere at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on January 30th on Cartoon Network. But the entire so-called Steven Bomb has sent made its way to various unofficial channels online more than three weeks before its official air date. While many of the beloved fa com the fantasy comic series fans still look behind the scenes are convinced, the episodes went way up by of an accidental leak. A rep for Cartoon Network confirmed to Polygon the uploads were in fact intentional. Around 9 p.m. on January 2nd, Steven Universe fans discovered that all five upcoming episodes were available on Cartoon Network's mobile app for OS and Android. This took many by surprise, as viewers were convinced that the installments were people by mistake. That's not the case. A representative for the capable channel told Polygon, This is actually what we've been doing for some time with a few of our shows through what we call the see it first element of the Cartoon Network app, they said, which is exactly what I said. It helps us build awareness for upcoming episodes and for new shows launches before they go on the linear platform. For example, we did this last December for our new series Mighty Magic Swords, and in December we just sneak we sneaked a cloudy with a chance of meatballs and my night in me. So like I said, this was 100 percent intentional. They don't advertise this. Not a lot of people think it doesn't make sense for us to advertise it, but it builds awareness for the app. That's exactly what I said, and that's exactly what they were doing. Fans may have noticed that the Steven episodes had to see the first designation when they first appeared in the app. Yeah, while opening the new episodes did create words for fans, for many fans, it was only after Cartoon Network taking them offline that they even knew the episodes were available to view. That's not entirely true because I posted that video around 9 p.m., which they, I think they kind of reference, they say that's when fans was viewed, because it was on Reddit about like 8 p.m. Like, it took me like 20 minutes to actually like see all these posts about it, and then it took me about like 40 minutes to make that video and upload it because my slow ass internet. So it was up for 17 hours, so people knew by that time. By the time it got taken down, like, that would be all. YouTube uploads of that already had like half a million views. That's because Cartoon Network soon took down all but one of the episodes, Steven's Dream, the first of the new episodes that's scheduled to air later this month. In the early hours of January 3rd, that gave some viewers enough time to rip them from the app and then upload them to YouTube. Clips and screenshots began circling all over social media and other venues, leaving spoilers about to dispute those who missed their chance to watch the episodes during their brief window of official availability. The Steven Universe fan base, confused by the uploads that Cartoon Network dumped onto its app with little promotion in just for a short period of time, began to express disappointment in the network, forcing fans to watch these episodes way in advance with their unofficial means meant unfair and unavoidable, they said. It wasn't just fans who were taken back by appearance of the Steven on my way ahead of the schedule. Ivy Tran, who was the poster of the show, took to Twitter and Tumblr to criticize those who enjoy her work illegally. Jeez, I have no clue what's going on, Tran tweeted in the early hours of January 3rd, shortly after the episode was removed from the app. This is a ploy, I wish someone would tell us so we don't stress like this. And yeah, the Cooniverse should have been known. They should have gotten okay before Factor went and did this, because this was a punch to the gut, so I'm almost positive the Cooniverse was behind the episodes being taken down early. They had to go to, ne okay, because Cartoon Network Studios and Factor Network, the actual network, the difference between who actually makes the shows, like the studios, and who actually airs the shows and schedules everything, the network, it, they're separate. So there was no communication here. After learning where the episodes came from, the official app, she elaborated her position about the leaks in a blog post. It was episode of the Cartoon Network app, you're cool. That's on CN, not you. If you're only get from legal sources, however, legal sources don't pay licensees for to show an episode like le legit sources do. I don't really care what you do, but own up to your choice when you watch the show from a source that doesn't pay the people involved. One writer for the show referred to the premature premiere as a mistake. That was Matt Burnett. The notion that the networks made online by accident runs counter to what Cartoon Network told us. The network insisted that there was a potential promotion as part of a see it first promotion. That's clearly lost on fans who have come together on a separate Reddit to discuss the leaked episode, which is r slash SU leaks. I go on there frequently. Releasing all the episodes online at once, at an irregular hour, no previous announcement, nearly a whole month before the episode even premiered on the channel. If it's intentional, that's a horribly calculated move. 
like I said, this has happened before. Oh, and yeah, like, this hasn't happened before. As they quote this on Reddit post. And yeah, like... Wait, hold on. While kids may use the app, teens and young adults just pirate. I think if they transfer to viewers to app, they use a bunch of viewers on TV, and they won't gain as many app viewers as they like. I don't think Cartoon Network has sit out for CV Universe, but definitely don't know the right decisions to help it out. Alright, so here is my whole take on it, and I explained this in the video. Did Cartoon Network fuck up? Yes, they didn't know if I had a universe. But by putting episodes early in the app, were they making a mistake? No. Like I said, now people are gonna start checking the app more. They're gonna be like, or well, are they gonna do this again? This is gonna be a real merge for the app. Like I said, if you watch it on the app, you're good. You supported the show, they made the ad revenue. Kudos to you. If you watched it online, before the episodes got taken down, chances are you weren't gonna use the app in the first place and you already watched the show online. You're good. Well, you're not good for pirating, but like, I'm not gonna fault you for that. Do what you gotta do to watch the show. But yeah, like I said, all my thoughts really are in the CP vs. Fine video, which will be at the end screen of this video. So, I wanna hear your guys' thoughts. Like, this was intentional. I knew it had to be. I think the only reason why it went down is because of the crew universe. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. I hope we get an official statement soon. I'm almost 100% sure it's the crew universe doing. But, hey, what are you gonna do? Hopefully, they have some better communication in the future. Ostrich Vox. Signing out.